This is Nuku Village in Abaji Area Council of the Federal Capital Territory. It's about one hour, 20 minutes drive from the city center. The people of this town are not wealthy, but in recent times, they have been attacked by armed robbers and kidnappers. The most recent attack occurred on the 3rd of January, 2020. This is the house that the kidnappers are drawn to. We are made to understand that this is the second time in five months that it has been attacked. It belongs to a retired civil servant, Mr. Umar Anyinu, whose wife and daughter were abducted. Iko Anyinu is his son. He narrowly escaped the attack and tells us that he was the target of the abduction. The first time my dad was kidnapped, I think they said they came for the pensions and the, the kind of activity that was uh, given to him. I woke up that early morning and uh, though I, I had some discouragement, some people, were, my, co my colleagues, even some of my family members were like, why shouldn't I just wait till the uh, following Monday, it's Friday, work is not going to be serious. So I just took my bag, I told my mom about it. Towards evening then, I had the call that my dad, and I mean, my dad has been shot, my mom had been kidnapped and my sister. So that's how I managed to escape. While Iko was absent, his cousin was home when the kidnapper struck. It was about 10.30, so when we had slept, later on when I heard the sound, someone was not hitting our door. So on peeping through the window, we saw some gunsmen who bounced into the door. They hit the door and they opened up the door. And they shot our dad and they took my sister and that of my mom. Can we carry our bikes? They were not with anything, they were using their legs. They walked towards the bush. Inside the house, we find Mr. Anyinu with a bandaged arm where he was shot by the kidnappers. His family says he is still traumatized and due to his high blood pressure, is unable to speak to us. We are also shown some bullet marks around the house and traces of blood. The villagers say they are afraid for their lives. We don't know their plan again because they have once come here before and this is the second time. They took the dad before and second, this is the second time they now come and took the mom and the, their last daughter. And everybody is wondering now, even to go inside and sleep is a case for us. Ikun Ayinu tells me that his family has been asked by the villagers to move out because they fear that a structure like this in such a poor neighborhood attracts robbers and kidnappers. He, however, says that that is not possible because this house was built by his father with his pension. He's hopeful that the police can guarantee the safety of his family and that of the villagers. When we visited the police area command in Abaji, we were told that the case had been transferred to the FCT Police Command. Investigation is ongoing. In a telephone conversation, the FCT Police PRO and Juguri Manza says investigation is ongoing and no amount has been communicated as ransom for the kidnappers yet. Terry Ikumi, Channels Television News.